Welcome back to our Bluesy Award channel. Today I wanted to present a very simple, powerful therapy for healing the brain. We did a previous video a while back on photobiomodulation, which is infrared light therapy into the brain for healing uh, dementia and traumatic brain injury. This is a therapy that was developed to help rebalance neurotransmitters in the brain. It's very gentle, very easy to do. And we're gonna just show two devices today. One is called the Fisher-Wallace Stimulator and the other is the CES Ultra. They're very similar in terms of what they do. They're just slightly different delivery approaches. And I recommend both of them. We're gonna post links below to their websites. So take a look at their research. There's a ton of research and generally addresses insomnia, anxiety, depression, things like OCD, pretty much anything to do with brain chemistry and neurotransmitters. Studies show that this therapy works very quickly. Generally within a month's time, you can go down to a maintenance mode. You're gonna do it twice a day with both devices. The serotonin and your dopamine will go up and your, your cortisol, your stress hormone, will decrease doing this therapy. So I'm going to show you first the Fisher Wallace device. So we'll show that in a second here. Okay, so this is the Fisher Wallace device. We're going to post a link to their website and there's a very good video showing you exactly how to use it. But basically, in a nutshell, you wet these sponges, you put them on your temples. You, make, you have to make sure you have a nice, good contact. And then you turn up the device. There's one, two, three, four setting. You turn it generally to two. Now, I actually was kind of sensitive to this, and I went straight to the two level. Probably I should have gone to the one level for a few days. But if you find you're a little, it's too much, or you're taking a while to adjust, just, you know, tune it down to a one, and run that for a few days, and then you can crank it up. Once I got used to this, you know, I was fine with it. If, you're, if you need more push, you can go to three or four setting. But this is all on their website, how to use it, very good video. And... Basically, you're going to feel, if you close your eyes, you can feel the optic nerve being activated. It goes very deep into the brain. And with both devices I'm showing you, within a month's time, most people can go down to a maintenance mode. In other words, people feel results very quickly. So this is a great alternative to medication to literally get those neurotransmitters back up and running and increase the serotonin melatonin and increases dopamine and it decreases the stress hormone cortisol. So that's the Fisher Wallace device. We're going to show you the CES Ultra next. Okay, this is the CES Ultra. The difference on this device is you have these ear clips. You attach them to each ear, just little clip-on ear clips. You can wet them a little bit. It comes with a, wet, a bottle and you can add a pinch of salt and, and basically wet these definitely you should wet them before you start <clears throat> and then then basically just has a little knob you just turn it up till you feel a buzz in your ear and now if you like that buzz you can go higher lower or you can even back off to where the buzz goes away it's still therapeutic again they have an excellent video on their homepage or their site and it's cesalter.com we'll post a link below this just plugs into the back of the unit here simple and it has a timer you go by default it's 30 minutes but you can go 45 minutes or you can go continuous both these devices you're going to use twice a day and after about a month's time for most people you can go into a maintenance mode and you can again control how much juice you're giving you know putting out just with a simple knob again we're in the thousands of an app the devices, this goes, this accesses the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve goes from the brain all the way down to the gut. It's a huge nerve. And you can also, it comes with contacts you can actually put directly on the vagus nerve. Electro gel contacts that stick, are very sticky. And most people just go with the ear clips. And uh, but if you want to try the gel electrodes, you're welcome to do that. They, again, you can go to their site and see all this. So this unit, uh, 
sells for three seventy nine on their site. We have it for three twenty five, and the Fish and Wilds goes for six ninety nine, and we're selling that for five ninety nine. There's a lot of research on both. I would say the Fisher Wells device is a little more direct, a little deeper, maybe straight on, straight into the brain. And this one is more, a little more gentle. It's a little, a little straight into the vagus nerve. It's really, you know, just like ice cream. What flavor do you like? They're both excellent. They both can get the job done. This one is mimicked on all of the research, the, the protocol they used on, all, on uh, a lot of independent research. The Fisher Wallace has a tremendous amount of their own independent research on their particular frequency setup. But at the end of the day, they both work. And uh, so if you have any questions, just contact me, Andrew, at Boozy Water. I can say within, do I have been doing this a short amount of time. And, you know, I would say, uh, look forward to, the, you know, probably another two or three weeks down the road. But definitely let less anxiety, better, deeper sleep, um, better brain chemistry, meditation is better. So this helps with meditation. You still need to do your cleaning practice. The subconscious, remember, is it's, stream, it's like a streaming memories that are occurring in consciousness space. They're not your memories per se. They're just a bunch of memories that affect you. Some come, in, some come into you, some come into someone else. But these are qualities that go off the body and yet affect the body. So you're always going to need to continue with your meditation practice. But the, the goal of this is to not be as detrimentally affected by the subconscious memories, which can cause all kinds of health problems. So we're trying to essentially rebalance the damage that comes from so-called stress, which really, in all the work we teach, these subconscious memories run in stealth mode, they stream and they exist in consciousness itself. So we are trying to have a, a really positive interface with those memories. So the more you do the cleaning work, the better the, the healing will go in this therapy or any other therapy. So I encourage you to look at our vibration series videos, which talks about the deep visceral process of shaking off these memories using this vibration therapy. Look at our Chi Machine videos, look at our Hopo and Opono, videos or consciousness videos. That is really important to continue with that work. But for most of us, we've been affected by our programming for a very, very long time. And we, we, do, we do not understand the physiology of it. We don't understand the nuances of the memory. So we're really trying to heal from many years, for most of us, many years of blind subconscious memories just having their way with us, so to speak. So this is a very beautiful therapy. I really like it. I also like the photobiomodulation therapy, the light, intranasal light therapy for healing brain trauma, dementia, and healing the cells from serious traumatic brain injury. If you have any further questions, please contact me, Andrew at Boozy Water, and we will post all the links below. Thank you.